Hello everyone. Welcome back to the another class of electronic with snap circuit. In today's class, we are going to learn how to use a multimeter. Let's see what is a multimeter. Multimeter is a device which is used to identify the values of the component that is electronic component. So on multimeter, you can see we have two wires. One is black, one is red. Black one is your negative, red one is your positive. So these are the terminal on which we insert our black and red wire. Now on register, you can see there is a knob. This knob is used to indicate the values. On multimeter, you can see that on the left hand side at the top, this is for voltage calculation. This is for resistance value calculation. What is resistance? Register is a component which is used to resist the voltage in a circuit. On the right hand side, these values used to identify the values of current flowing in a circuit. And there you can see some options in the at the bottom. One is your continuity, okay? One is for your transistor. Now let's see how to use this multimeter. You need to rotate this knob to check the values. First of all, we'll learn how to check the continuity. This option is used to check the continuity. So I'll take the knob here at this speaker's sign. Okay. Now let's check the continuity of these two wires first. You all can hear a beep sound. This beep sound indicates that these two wires are connected together. Now let's check the continuity of these wires. While we are checking the continuity, these are the wires which is hard. But in daily life we use wires which are soft and they may be broken from inside. So to check the continuity, what you need to do from one end to another end, you need to put the multimeter and then you can check the continuity. So this wire is absolutely correct. So, the current will flow from one direction to the another direction. Now, let's check the voltage of a battery. So, here I am taking a 3 volt battery. You all know this is of 3 volt because we have taken two 1.5, 1.5 batteries. Now, let's check the values on multimeter. So, to check the voltage, you need to rotate now on this side. Now, let's put negative to negative and positive to positive. This time it is showing 1. Why? Because 3 is not near to this 2. So, this is near to 20. Now, let's check it. So, you can see now it is showing 3.5 something, 3.05. As I told you that this is a 3 volt battery box. Now, this is showing the 3.05. Okay. Now let's add one more battery and make it more voltage. Now this is connected to each other. Now what do you think? What will be the voltage of these two batteries? I think it will be 6 volt. So let's check it on multimeter. So this is your 6 volt battery. Okay. The combination of these two batteries add, uh, add together 3 plus 3 is your 6 volt. This was about voltage. Now, let's see how to check voltage in a circuit. So, I am putting a battery here. Okay. One LED here. And one connector here. And now, let's check the voltage. So, this will be a positive and this will be a negative. So, this time the voltage is 1.67 because it is going from LED to battery. That's why it is decreased. Okay. Now, let's check the value of your register. So, these are the registers. On register, we have some color code on these registers. Okay, it has also two terminals, but it doesn't have positive and negative. Okay, you can put any, any way 
to the circuit fine now you can see there are some colors on the register we identify the value of this register using these colors but here it is written on the board that is it is 1k 1 kilo ohm ohm is the unit of your register this is 5.1 kilo ohm and this is your 100 ohm ohm is the smallest unit and then gradually it increases to ohm kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm 100 kilo ohm and many more now let's check the value of this register as we know this is of 100 ohm so let's check how to identify the value so we'll take this knob to the 2 i'm taking it to the 2 now let's check it this is 2k now let's check it the value is 0 0.97 so it is in k means 1000 position now let's take it to 200 now this is showing 100 almost 100 it is fluctuating from 98 to 100 fine so this is of 100 ohm register now if you see this one this is 1 kilo ohm so i'll take it to 2k knob and then check it so this is 0.982 now let's take it to 200 again and this is your 1 1 kilo ohm fine so this is how we use our multimeter to find out the values of components like we find the values of register we find the voltage current flowing in a circuit okay that's why we call it a multimeter so you all know now how to use a multimeter to find the values the next class we learn how to make the series and parallel combination of register stay tuned with me see you in next class thank you